There was a small article in the newspaper saying how Michael was tired of taking the physical abuse from the Detroit Pistons and wanted to start a strength and conditioning program, but he was afraid to lift any weights because he didn't know what the effects were going to be on his game. And I actually contacted the team physician and the athletic trainer at that time, met with both of them to explain my philosophies, and uh, they introduced me to Michael. And Michael said, you know, we'll try it out for 30 days, and 30 days turned into 15 years. Michael's mindset at, in the training was extremely unique. I mean, the most competitive individual I've ever met. Uh, never wanted to lose at anything. Uh, always felt like somebody else was going to outwork him, so he wanted to outwork them. Uh, knew what his weaknesses were, knew what his strengths were. Uh, he had a big thing where he used to say, hey, listen, I'm going to turn my weaknesses into strengths. And he did. And what you notice is every year there was uh, evolution in his game. There was something that he added, whether it was a new shot, a new move. He was never satisfied, uh, no matter how many championships, how many titles, what people said, how many accolades he got, he always wanted to get better. And most practices have the starting five on the same team. Uh, practices where Michael's at, they always had Scotty on the other team because Michael wanted to go against the best defender and the best player or the second best player on the team. He never played down to the level of his competition. He always found a way to motivate himself. If he knew in a certain game that he could score real easily, he'd say, well, I'm gonna go get some more rebounds, I'm gonna go get assists. He, would, he had no weaknesses in his game. And uh, so it, he did whatever the team needed to win. I think the key components to that mindset is once he stepped between those lines, nothing else mattered. That was his safe haven. Nobody could get to him. He was able to perform in front of millions of people and he never wanted to let them down, but he practiced extremely hard, which made the game very easy for him. From so much practicing of all the different aspects and understanding film and the other players and what their tendencies are, and being so well prepared, he always had the edge over his competition. What the young athletes can learn from Michael and his mindset is there's more to preparing for a basketball game than just the dribbling, shooting part of it. There's knowing what the weakness and strength of your uh, opponent is, what uh, the opposing team is, what your players are capable of doing, what they're not capable of doing, what you can do to enhance their abilities. It's a job, okay? It's a job just like every other one, and the more you're prepared for it, the better you will be at it. But preparation takes hard work and it takes sacrifice that you have to do.